Extra, extra! Murderer on the loose! A reward offered for any information as to Mr. Galici's whereabouts. Do you know anything about this? That's a question I can answer. How do you do? Champions Whirlpool, pools bread and butter. to navigate and warn others at sea. You should have a warning to cover your ears. Sails of hatred. I suppose there is something for everyone, including champions. Who knew archaeology could be so exciting? 
Exciting is certainly a word. Bloodied bandages. Has someone been hurt? Where would a champion hide a key? I hope Paul is more skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys. Bloodied bandages. To earn big, you have to spend big. Additional earnings to sweeten the victory. An interesting place for a message to a champion. Old betting slips. Paul always bets on Whirlpool. One victory after another. Mr. Gildon wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. Expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. A box full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. Shipbuilding, shipwrights tricks, sail weaving. Undeniably psychotropes. Not for toothache, I think. Undeniably psychotropes. Not for toothache, I think. A typical tea tin. I wonder what he has for biscuits.
Oi, hands off my possessions before you lose your fingers. Are you illiterate? The rules are written every- Ah, Mr. Perks, the cabin boy himself. Champion, you mean. I was right. You are illiterate. I think a couple of shiners might teach you. One last chance. Who are you? I am a friend of Theodore Gildon. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I need a few words from you about... Get out of here. I'm not joking. Leave this place before you have cause to regret it. I will use force. Did the police still throw people in prison for smuggling? Oh yes, with you helpless and handcuffed, I'd learn a few more secrets. We don't need to compete with our egos now, surely. Oh no. I'd rather you tell me something more so that I might have more reasons to punch you out. I'm impressed by how well a woman can handle a yacht and endure so many hardships on the open sea. The revelation of your nature could well humiliate so many rich men here, not to mention how you have broken the rules. But I understand. You've done this to forge a real career in the sport, but tell me something. Has no one asked you why you don't grow a beard? Shh! Have you been following me? You better not be wanting to end my career, because I swear you'll regret it if I get out it. Damn you, Paul. I'm sick of... Who's this peacock? Does he know who I am? I definitely know who you are not. You're not a dictionary reader, at least. I wanted to see how you... pals interact with each other in your natural habitat. But I'm afraid I have to interfere. I'm coming. I'm coming. I couldn't miss the party. I will end you! Hey, you could have kept him alive. I couldn't miss the party. Don't bother moving. You've lost. I can overcome... Don't cry, you'll live. The snuff's ready. Time. We can infer. I'm coming.
Oh, you killed him. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming. The snuff's ready. I can overcome the... Overcome him, don't... I'm coming for you. It won't work this way. I'm coming. Excuse me. No more crime for you until next month. Give him the pepper snuff. And there's no reward for risking our lives. Paul's explanation will suffice. Your fellow mariners have a strange way of showing hospitality. They were not my friends. Are you sure? I would rather risk my neck for someone who's at least honest and thankful. Perhaps then don't enter someone's life and be so judgmental, pretending you're better than they are. Then give me your perspective and allow me to see through your eyes. What were you doing this morning, Miss Perks? Don't call me that. I'm a champion. I was sailing. The other club members told me that you missed the race this morning. Do champions not need to practice? Oh, you've talked with them already. No, I wasn't racing. I visited the doctor after that attack on me. And then I had to honor the deal with the bandits you just took care of. I tried to tell you before, but your partners interrupted. Have you heard the news? Theodore Gilden is dead. Do you have anything to say? Well, what a shock. To me, he was an angry old ogre. Good riddance. Was it Goliath that killed him? Did it crush him? Break his bones? Come on, tell me. I want all the details. You have an unusual way of showing grief. Imogen wouldn't appreciate that. But yes, the animal could have been involved. It's poetic in a way, isn't it? It takes a beast to kill a monster. I wish I could have been that elephant. You're asking for trouble with this smuggling business. You'd better leave it before they smuggle you out in a barrel. Don't patronize me. I've only ever had trouble with law-abiding citizens like Gilden and you. Never bandits. So ask me anything you want, and then get out of my sight. What can you tell me about the elephant? He's smarter than some people here, including his owner. Although I feel he could be dangerous, no matter how much he's fed. Why is that? Have you ever seen Goliath attack anyone? Well, not exactly. But I saw it, uh, abusing some poor tree during one of its walks with Theodore. The expression on that old ninny's face was priceless. But it wasn't funny to look at. Believe me, it was frightening. Does this knife seem familiar? I didn't find it in your competitor's back to be- This knife is as blunt as your humor. It's a boson's knife, but it's not mine. I wouldn't be so careless as to mislay my tools.
A. Swift. Are you familiar with this name? The gentleman had business with Mr. Gil... Likely just another strange and wrinkled fellow like old Gildam was. Perhaps this swift person has a rhino, and they wanted to see which pet was stronger. In other words, I don't know who he is, but I bet he's crazy like Theodore. I doubt that Cortona has ever boasted a battle arena for that size of mammal. You have an interesting imagination. Between yachts, darts, and notes from bandits, I've discovered many fascinating facts about you. But this, an installment of Nabe and Laura's adventures, why did you sully your library with this? It's a gift from Imogen. I didn't buy it. I might have turned a couple of pages, but nothing more. I swear. I will give you the benefit of the doubt, but your literary taste has put you on my blacklist. A charming picture. I've heard that champions do often pose with their trophies. Cheeky. It is a lovely trophy, though. I'm sure you will agree. What is it that you like most about her? Her naivety? Her father's money? A somewhat difficult choice. Especially now that her father is out of the equation. Look what I found. A box full of dark. Hey, that's mine. I confiscated it. These darts appear to be filled with something. Poison? How powerful is it? It's strychnine. Enough to instantly kill a small rodent. I haven't tried it on a human. Yet. I hope you know what you're doing. Could it immobilize a larger animal? Say, an elephant? I've never tried. But I have wondered. You smuggle illicit psychotropes on your yacht. Not a delivery for the hospital, I'm sure. Of course not. I've had to cut corners to earn some money. How might a person afford to pay for a yacht in an honest way? I don't know, although I'm smart. The buyers are my customers. Adults who are willing to pay for their pleasure, or weapons for jewels. Whatever they want me to deliver. Nothing criminal. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm not here because of smuggling. Have you tasted this tea yourself? I wouldn't have been a champion if I had used it. It's just a side business that keeps my career afloat. It's quite expensive to compete in yachting. Sometimes I cut corners. Such as fixing Whirlpool yourself? Exactly. And sometimes I just have to pay. That's how I earn money. I don't sell slaves or take the last mangir from a poor family. Imogen doesn't strike me as an industrious young lady, so I find it strange that she was busy packing up all her belongings when Mr. Gildon died. That's some um, favourable wind in your sails, isn't it? Is it so suspicious that a couple might embark on a trip? I wanted to thank her, so we planned to go travelling. A Theodore-free place, without elephants. The timing of it is suspicious, however. Your lady friend becomes an orphan and heir, and there's a planned trip directly afterwards. An improvised romantic dinner will never please a spoilt girl. A planned voyage might. It's not spur of the moment. I have to leave you for a moment. Don't sail too far away.
Are you aware that Paul smuggles drugs for a dangerous game? Mr. Holmes, I've already told you. I call him a pirate in play. He's not an actual pirate. He's a champion and a brave gentleman, not a thug. Let us agree to disagree on that. But don't be surprised if one of his clients knocks on your door. Have you seen what your father sent to Paul? This is despicable. My father was never a gentleman, but this crosses the line. I knew that father wasn't fond of Paul, but this... This is just awful. If only he could have seen how good Paul he is to me.